So today we'll be making skillet spaghetti. Our ingredients are, we have our soy crumbles. We're gonna be using a medium onion, our bell pepper. We're gonna be using a can of diced tomatoes, whole wheat spaghetti noodles, chili powder, black pepper, olive oil, oregano, and also some sugar and some mozzarella cheese. Now we're gonna begin by me washing my hands, of course. You definitely wanna always wash your hands about 20 seconds or however long it takes you to sing the happy birthday song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, or your kids will probably know tops and bottoms. So you wanna make sure you get a nice lather before you get them under the water. And it's always a good thing to rinse your hands down you don't want that water going up your sleeves, up your arm. And let's go ahead and get our six ounce of soy crumbles. Soy crumbles is an excellent source of protein, a great way to incorporate some things into your diet. Now you don't have to use soy crumbles for this recipe if you don't want. You can also use ground turkey or ground beef. You just want to make sure that you drain it enough. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our soy crumbles while our pan is getting hot. Now for our bell pepper and onions, you wanna definitely make sure you wash off all your ingredients. And we're just gonna wash them off really well. And there's no need to dry them. Now we're gonna wash off our onion too because I'm gonna cut off that peeling but any dirt or debris that's on that pillow, I definitely do not want that on my onion. So we'll start with our onion first. And I'm just gonna make, just cut it right down the middle and we can save that. Wrap it in a paper towel, put it in the refrigerator for later. And also a good way to keep your onions from the uh, smell or anything that's bothering your eyes, you know, you start crying when you're using your onions. You just rinse it off with cold water and rinse your knife off with cold water as well. So we're just gonna dice up some onions here. We're gonna dice up about, like I said, half the onion. See our skillet is getting warm. Now you wanna definitely make sure when you're cutting an onion that you do not use a dull knife and then it'll make it harder to cut and you definitely don't wanna cut yourself. So we're just gonna move those to the side. We're gonna cut our bell pepper. A great way to cut your bell pepper is take it from the end and just take it around and you just pop it right off. And you just leave all your seeds and stuff intact. And you don't have to worry about picking it out of your recipe at all. Get those two pieces out of the way. And it all depends if you wanna make your bell peppers bigger or smaller, it's totally up to you. these up here. You don't have to use the green bell peppers if you want. You can also use the red or the yellow just to make your spaghetti a little bit more fiesta looking. Color is the key. So now that we have those cut up, let's just spread out our crumbles. Let's go ahead and add our oil. And we're only gonna need a half a teaspoon of oil. Just put that right in there. Now I like to get those crumbles started before, the, without the oil first, just to get them browned a little bit better. Like that. This is an awesome cutting board. We're just gonna add all that in there. And if you don't have a cutting board like this, of course, you can just pick it up and drop it into your skillet as you need to. So we're just gonna let our onions and our peppers sweat just a little bit before we add everything else. We're gonna place our top on it. Turn it down. 
and place on our top. Now while we're doing that, let's go ahead and get our canned tomatoes prepared. Of course, we're going to rinse off the can. Let's wipe that off. And you can also just use a wet towel. Let's get that open. Now, most of the recipes that we do, we tell you to pour off the juice. You definitely do not want to pour off the juice right here in these diced tomatoes. Because the juice from the tomatoes is what's going to make your, what's going to cook up your spaghetti noodles. So we have that ready. And let's measure our spaghetti noodles. Now, in this recipe, it'll probably call for like a quarter cup, which basically is like a quarter size of your hand. So if you get your box, and the boxes come like that, if you just tear the flap, Basically, the way the ending is, you'll get a good amount of the quarter cup. And then you have a little open. And there you have it. Right. Now, to this, of course, we're going to add some water. But we're going to add our diced tomatoes first. If we only had smell a TV. It smells so good. Let's just get that in there. Whoop. It's all right. It's your kitchen. Make a mess as much as you want to. Now let's go ahead and I like to break up our spaghetti. I like to break it up in three. Just so it'll cook a little faster. And they're whole wheat noodles, so they are going to cook a little bit longer. We're going to go ahead and add our cup and a fourth of water. And sometimes you might have to add a little bit more because like I said, wheat noodles, they do require a lot of liquid to cook and nobody wants crunchy spaghetti. At least I don't. This is a great spaghetti recipe. A great way to incorporate some vegetables into your kids' diet. We talked about making, we're going to make our recipe colorful and that just looks wonderful. Oh, that's just so pretty. So we turn our skillet down and we're just gonna let that cook. Okay, so we have everything in a pan and it's coming up to a nice boil. So since it's coming up to a boil now, we're gonna add our seasonings. Now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of everything, a half a teaspoon of oregano. And the oregano is excellent. We're gonna do a black pepper. And I just like to put my seasonings in once I get all my ingredients combined to make sure that my seasoning is able to be distributed evenly. And that's our chili powder. And then we're gonna go with, well, a half teaspoon of sugar. And I'm gonna give that a stir. And the reason we're using uh, chili powder and oregano for seasoning is they add lots of flavor and they're less salt. The ingredients in this recipe are easy to keep on hand. You'll probably find most of these like our canned tomato seasonings and our spaghetti in your cabinets already. The green peppers and onions can be found year round in your groceries produce section. So let's just give that a good stir. The whole grain pasta that we're using in here is of course whole wheat and it's great in fiber and helps you feel a little full a little faster. So now that all of our ingredients are combined, we're gonna go ahead and measure our mozzarella cheese. Now you wanna make sure that you measure out your mozzarella cheese to just be able to uh, cut down on your fat. So we're just gonna use a half a cup. And I think kids like this recipe a little more because it's cheese, so it makes them feel like they're having like some pizza. So we're gonna turn that off. And I just wanna make sure that my spaghetti is thoroughly stirred because I wanna get some cheese on every single piece. Now, while we're waiting for our cheese to melt, let me tell you a little bit more about our soy crumbles. The soy crumbles that we're using, like I said, they're high in protein, but they are lower in fat and lower in cholesterol. 
Now you want to make sure if you use ground turkey or ground beef that you ground your meat completely brown. You definitely don't want to have any pink. Using ground turkey will be great because you don't have to worry about draining it because it nearly has like no fat so it doesn't produce as much grease. Oh, okay, I think that's about enough time for our cheese. And there you have it, skillet spaghetti. Look at that, doesn't that look delicious? Let's try this. Definitely wanna get some of everything on there. Mm. That's good, right there. Mm. And there you have it. Oh, wow, it's so good. Mm. Skillet spaghetti. Fast, nutritious, easy recipe. Things you probably have on hand already in your cabinet. And there you have it. And I'll see you again. Same time, same place, different recipe.